right guys, so surf fishing tip number one. Obviously we gotta start with hooking the fish. I mean, you can't, you can't talk about how to land fish if you haven't already talked about how to catch them. So, my first tip, I mean, don't get me wrong, I will use, say, this guy right here. That's like my ideal size. And I'll use a little bit bigger, but don't go, don't go using the quarter size, nickel size sand crabs. They're just, you'll catch fish every once in a while, but you won't catch nearly as many fish as you will if you do one of these, or even two of these little guys, or three of these little guys. I mean, I'll do three of these size before I do one, one and a half times that size any day. So use those smaller crabs. Like for instance, I'll do on this cast. I'll do these three. So I'll go one, two, and three. And I'm using a number two mosquito hook. I switch between number twos and number fours. So let's send this out there. And you don't need to cast super far. That's another tip. I guess we'll combine these. Uh... Oh, we'll make this another tip. So tip number two, you don't need to cast past the breakers or super far like everybody says. You'll see this white water rolling in. I'm gonna throw right in front of it. So I'm gonna throw, landed literally right in front of that white water there. Maybe a, 20 yard cast. And tip number three, you gotta keep tension, but you don't wanna reel in constantly to keep your tension. So the way I'm fishing here is with a Carolina rig and I'm using sand crabs as bait. And you can see me, I'm not gonna reel in once through even these slightly rough conditions. Surf's a little bit up, the current is, is moving right. I'm just walking with my bait and I'm gonna use my rod tip, the angle of my rod tip to keep tension and control slack versus tension. So if I feel my bait getting sucked out, I'll dip my rod down. Here the waves are bringing it in so you'll see my rod tip slightly raise up here. And then, I mean, I always say for every push there's a pull. So I'm really just letting the ocean the surf and the current dictate what my rod does. So I've got a really like light, but still solid grip of my rod. And if I feel some slack, it naturally pops up. And if I feel it pull out like it is right now, I let it dip down. And that'll keep your rod, your, keep your bait out there where you want it to be. Because a lot of first time anglers, they'll get to the surf and they'll be like, oh, I don't feel, I don't feel my, my bait, I don't have tension, I'm just gonna reel it in until I feel it. And even if you slightly lift it up, reel in to get that tension, you're constantly working it closer and closer into you. So it's just that your window of getting bit is, is so much smaller than, than my window here, where I just keep it out there. You'll see I haven't reeled in once, and there's my bite, there's my hook set, and hopefully there's my fish. So again, we're just gonna work it in with the waves. If he wants to run, I let him run, so I'm not gonna push it in with this wave. But I'm keeping tension, okay? Let him run if he wants to. Working back right now. So I didn't really get an opportunity to have the waves really help me out, but. Nice Corbina here. I just listened to the fish basically and when I felt that it wasn't really making an effort to go on a run, I took advantage of that. When I felt there were some solid head shakes and, and I felt like she wanted to run, I, I let her run. And that's your Corbina right there. It's a nice fish on three small sand crabs. So you don't need to use those big sand crabs. And I've caught just as many, so I've, so I've, I've actually caught more big Corbina and big spot and croaker on smaller sand crabs than I have big sand crabs.
So yeah, again, to talk about when to, to set the hook, uh, it really doesn't do you any good to set the hook as soon as you feel that first tap. And I know that's very different. All the bass fishermen out there who are coming over from bass fishing to surf fishing, especially if you're doing Carolina rig. If you're working lures, it's a bit different. So we can see lots of kelp over here. So we're gonna avoid that. I know I got bit right here, but I know I'm gonna drift right back into it. So I'm gonna hop right over the kelp, just to the left of it, because I know it's pulling north. And I'll cast right over it here. It's a little shorter than I would have liked, but I'm gonna let it go just because the bite's pretty on. But it's really a matter of, you're gonna feel, you're keeping your good tension and you're gonna feel a tit, tit, tit. And you can't set it right there, you just can't. Because it hasn't fully taken. Once that tit, tit, tit turns into a tit, 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 and it starts to bend your rod tip over a little bit and you feel the weight of the fish, that's when you can set into it because the fish has fully taken it. And it, you gotta get, get to it quick after that. And sometimes they skip that first tit, Dit, dit, and hop right into it. A lot of times the elephant croaker will just dit, 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 straight just slam your bait. Uh, but yeah, that's that's something that a lot of either transitional anglers from different styles of fishing or just new fishermen in general, they don't have the patience and they don't have the, the poise to wait it out. Like right now I'm getting taps and I can't set the hook yet. Sometimes they don't come back, but it's not going to do you any good to set it early. Here we are. Just a little guy. So I'll use this wave here. He's gonna catch in three, two, one. There he is. And he just comes right in with the wave. And that's a little guy. The big ones are a lot tougher to do that too, but it helps a lot more with the big ones in comparison to not having the wave to help. There we are. That's a better fish. Come on, go on another run. Uh, now I'm thinking yellow fin croak. Uh, come on. Be that big spot fin I'm after. All right, yeah, it's not a it's not a yellow fin croaker. I think spot fin. Using the wave here, bring her in. And it's a spot fin. Nothing huge, but a nice fish. Perfect hook set. Beautiful fish here. 